Have you completed your to-do list yet? Or does it keep growing? I will be sharing how I overcame my to-do list and how you can do the same. So Friday is coming around and I feel happy to be done with work, right? But the problem is I might be done with work work, but as the weekend is approaching, I also have all these other things to deal with because, well, I just didn't get them done before because, you know, work. So <laughs> perhaps that's not you. Perhaps it's, it's more about you didn't get all the tasks done at work and now you're considering working overtime in order to catch up. Either way, if you've ever had a long to-do list, you know how extremely overwhelming it can feel just looking at this never-ending list. And the overwhelm tends to lead to, you know, you pushing it off and procrastinating even more. And the list ends up just growing. Now, this used to be the exact issue that I had with my to-dos. But when I discovered a way better way to approach my never-ending list by adopting two strategies that I'm about to share with you, my whole experience with getting things done completely changed. So first of all, I'll say this, and I'm sure you've heard me say this many times before. You can do anything, not everything at the same time. So by knowing what to focus on, it becomes easier to take the first step. Looking at your list, see what stands out as the most important. What do you really need to get done today? What are the two or three tasks that are most important today? And if you could only get two or three things done, would those be the things? And would you be okay with that? So here's the next thing. Start by working backwards. You know, you know what you want to do, but you need to define what the outcome is. And this, I'll give you an example. Working on my website design, Whenever I see that on my to-do list, I start sweating. It's, it's just so overwhelming. It's a never-ending task for me, and it's not, it's not specific enough. So what I do is I define the outcome. So based on the time frame given, what's the outcome that I can aim to achieve today? Perhaps it's publishing three new graphic elements, or integrate a newsletter sign up, or editing those two specific blog posts. By defining the outcome, it becomes easier for me to make sure it gets done. It allows me to see what really needs to get done and I'll know when I'm done. So I, I call this having an outcome list instead of having a to-do list. It's said that you can't work on a project. You can only work on tasks that belong to the project and once completed, lead to a completed project. It's like, how do you eat a half a ton award-winning Atlantic giant pumpkin? Well, in pieces, of course. So for any task that you can't clearly define its outcome for, you need to chunk it down into smaller pieces and then work on those tasks one at a time. And again, if the task can't be broken up into smaller chunks, you can consider setting a time limit on the task say, giving yourself 20 minutes to research every day for five days. Defining that outcome is going to help you complete and, and truly know that it's done, the task. It, it sets you up for success by defining what success looks like. So pick two or three tasks to complete and define the outcome, work on them, and do not allow any other task to be worked on until you've completed all three tasks. Now, once you're done, you can add one or two more tasks on that list if you want to, but not until you've completed the original three. Handling my task this way really changed what I got done and the experience I had while working on my task list. If you're ready to change the way you're handling your task list and go from inaction to being in action, then you will want to take a look at my free three-part video course that I created to help people get unstuck and stop procrastinating. So go to adamkabalek.com forward slash unstuck. That's adamkawlec.com forward slash unstuck. 
and download or access this video series for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this, please leave a comment or send me a message. I'd love to have uh, this conversation going and feel free to share with your community and this community what it is that you're working on right now.